Welcome to News Now from the Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Mike Crowley, and I would like to welcome back Lisa Gibellario of the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network and the co coordinator of the Belmont Wellness Coalition. This week, we're talking about easing the mental load of parenting. And as a parent, I can corroborate that it is quite a mental load. So welcome, Lisa, and tell us what you mean by easing the mental load of parenting. Well, Mike, what we mean by that phrase is to acknowledge that parenting encompasses many, many things. We are constantly nurturing our kids. We are shopping for our kids. We're preparing food. We are organizing their activities. We're overseeing their homework. We're making play dates happen, medical appointments, dental appointments. We're driving them all over town. We're making sure the clothes are clean, the shoes fit, the form is filled out. We worry about their mental health, their physical health, and their overall well-being. This list of responsibilities, as we both just acknowledged, is endless. It is relentless and it is exhausting. All of that is what we mean by the mental load of parenting. So parents do face a daunting list of responsibilities and activities that they're responsible for. What can parents do to ease that burden, Lisa? First of all, share that load. If you have a parenting partner, share the load with that partner. Delegate who's going to do what, get it down on paper, have weekly meetings where maybe you review a spreadsheet that you've put together that says what needs to be done, by when, um, and by whom. So getting organized is definitely a point that was stressed. Um, you've got to get it down on paper. And if you don't have a parenting partner, also get it down on paper if you can, but be, be reasonable, be realistic, Mike, if you're doing this alone about what you can accomplish um, and what might have to wait. Not everything can be accomplished all the time. So just be reasonable with yourself, but also get it down on paper. So getting organized seems helpful. Um, what else would you recommend, Lisa? A good night's sleep that comes up all the time. A good night's sleep is a coping mechanism. It is restorative. So it's really important that we're not trying to face this particular job um, exhausted all the time. Secondly, find something, find those things, identify what fills your tank, identify what's going to be restorative for you in addition to sleep. So for many of us, it's fresh air, a walk. For some of us, it's a bubble bath, a good book, a good movie, but identify that which will kind of restore you. Even taking time away from the kids can be really restorative. Also, Mike, if you have disposable income, I would say hire out for some of those things like lawn care, housework, and even childcare. Get out away. Um, and then finally, I'd say go easy on yourself. Acknowledge every day something you did well and know that you have a new day to start over. Um, parenting is a long, long journey. So take it, you know, take it easy on yourself. So how about single parents? Uh, they, they face some special challenges. Any advice for them? Well, as I said, the advice tends to be similar in, in that they should be well rested, um, take care of themselves, stay organized. But I guess the, the most important point I wanna underscore for single parents is that you've got to be reasonable in your expectations with what you're going to get done. So spread things out over a month. Don't have all of the medical appointments and three play dates and two travel soccer games in the same week. Try to the extent that you can control, try to spread those things out, keep it written down, keep a family calendar, and just set reasonable expectations for what you can accomplish in any given all right. Um, anything else to add, Lisa? No, just to just to know that parenting is going to have you know good phases. It's going to have painful phases. It will sometimes be a mess, and that's okay. Um, it'll also sometimes provide a lot of joy. But get organized, get rest, and just do the best you can do. All right. It's such helpful advice, Lisa. And let's hope this helps ease some of the local burden of parenting. And we will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.